Welcome to Rage, you nerds! I am Mr. Cack, and we are watching a trailer. If you like this content, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps power Smash us with nerdy, game. geeky goodness. A and that's what we want, and that's what you want. Gosh dang it! Uh, so please enjoy this video, and if you want to see any content specifically, please leave us a comment down below. We try to do movie trailers as they come out, but we also like to jump into other reactions or reviews of other content. So please, join the channel, join our nerddom, and give us all of your thoughts and, and prayers. Alright, bye! Let's, <laughs> let's watch us some Hellraiser trailer. Let's do it. Let's do it. What a great way to end the night with Pinhead because the first movie in the first nine movies did Oops. so well. Uh, so this is this is uh, Hellraiser coming to Hulu. Uh, this is the trailer. This is a trailer. This is the trailer. Welcome to Rage, you knew. Bye, glass. That's an old one. Beautiful. Ooh, the box. Isn't it? It's really nice. You can hold it. <laughs> no, you can no. touch it. Oh, uh, well, that's... What is it? It's a puzzle. Oh, I don't like this guy. And it's almost finished. Keep going. Oh, I don't like him at all. So if I solve it... Do <laughs> I get a prize? Oh, yeah, I you do. do. Not a good Very guy. Good, sir. Curious on the tank. What's your deal? Why Barker? It has six sides, six configurations. It opens up. Okay. And it cuts you. And then they come to collect. Is that Spider-Man's wife? I like her voice. Delights. Await. We wish to see you proceed. Ugh. Feed it. Uh. Their blood. Their pain. All for us. My lady Pinhead? You pray for? Oh no, it's a beast. No, that's a lady. I like Pinhead's voice though. Because pinhead right. sex doesn't matter. True, true. I was just speaking semantics. Um, okay, semantics so yours. I'm going to go first on the... What? Well, you always go first. But yes, you may go first, older brother. Oh, well, by all means, Mr. Cack. Why don't no, you, you go leave? first. That's the format. We do format. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So in the original Hellraiser, like Pinhead, I don't know how he got so much credit because he was sort of like the... Congratulations, you've died and you've sinned. Now I'm going to send you to hell. Welcome to my torture chamber. But he never really got involved. I think a lot of people wanted him more involved. And I don't know what they're going to do with this, but I feel like it's got more of that involvement going on. Um, so it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't want to say slightly predictable because I don't know, but I feel like I feel like they – I mean there's so many ways you could open the floodgate to this to be so grotesque and so like dramatic. Um, and I kind of hope that's what they do because I think that's what like me, which I never – I was always a nightmare guy and a Friday guy and a children of the corn and Halloween guy. And then I found about Critters, Hellraiser, all this other stuff. And I, was, I watched the first Hellraiser and I was like pinheads in the movie like for a total of like six seconds. It's not quite six seconds. It's like 30 seconds. Anyway, but he's a very insignificant role, and somehow that character took off. I don't know how. Maybe his physique or his, his makeup. The, yeah, um, the, desi it, the design, right? He had pins right. in his head. Yes, and and so uh, – and I, I watched uh, the rest of the Hellraisers, but, like, I didn't care. You know, when I was – again, I say I watched. I was 13, 14 years old. I haven't seen them since because they just didn't do anything for me. The first one didn't do it. I rewatched it um, for maybe or maybe not our 31 days of Halloween that's coming up soon. Ah, 
format to be announced. But uh, I didn't like even that. It was like nothing about this movie screams pinhead, but it was very uh, dramatic and grotesque. So as long as they stay with the dramatic and grotesque, this is probably going to be pretty good. Um, I like it, how it looks like they're going to go more sinister with it. More pinhead is not so much a guardian and uh, an enforcer as so much as he is a controller. If that makes sense, um, so that's I'm I'm curious to see how they pull that off. So I like this because it shows that I mean I guess you're kind of led to believe that the uh, Cenobites are the antagonists, but really it's that dude in the suit that's making these people do the lament configuration. Right. Um, I do like that. I do like that because that's what essentially the Hellbound Heart, uh, Clive Barker's original novella was about. It wasn't so much about the Cenobites being the antagonist. They were just kind of like how the movie adaptation was. Figures that are part of the mechanic of that lament configuration. You're opening a world to their dimension and they're coming to give you your reward. They're not there to be mean. You earned this prize. You may not like it, uh, but they're, <laughs> they've got great delights that await. So um, I do like that it seems like the antagonist is going to be Shady Dude in a suit. I love me a good Shady yeah. Dude in a suit. Um, I do like that it seems to be not just necessarily a one and done. It seems like the lament configuration is just like a, a grinding process of brutalizing these poor people, which kind of makes it cool because it kind of makes it a cross between a very saw type mechanic and what we know and understand from the Hellraiser franchise as is. Uh, so you have all of that. I think it's going to be brutal and I think it looks really good for a Hulu original release. I think that's actually astonishing. This looks like it could be good enough to maybe make a theatrical run, but the fact that it's not take advantage of that people, I've already got Hulu thanks to the Disney bundle. So I'm going to watch it. <laughs> All right, so, you know, there's those thoughts. I also am not a... I don't care about the... Because if you actually read the novel, The Hellbound Heart, <laughs> uh, uh, Pinhead, which they don't call it... They don't call the character Pinhead in there. Um, they call no. it, like, the priest or whatever. Um, the priest. Had, had a feminine-like voice. Again, these monsters basically have shaved off their genitals anyways, so whether it had a vagina or a penis is kind of doesn't matter. The fact you know, that that's it's putting, a really good point. Yeah, the fact that it's putting hooks in your flesh and trying to flay you, I think, is more important category. I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine being there, like, hooked up to your flesh, being put on the wall and being like, Oh, wait a minute. Are you a dude or you a girl? <laughs> Before I die, I must Before know. Before I die, I have to know. Are you a, you are, are you a, a lady? Because if you are, <laughs> you want to you wanna go to Chili's? <laughs> <laughs> but if you're like a dude. Listen, listen, we can talk about this. I've got a gift card to Applebee's if, if you're a girl. But if, if you're, you're a dude. I'm yeah, not, I'm not say, even gonna say it. If you're a dude, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, maybe maybe <laughs> Chili's date will look different. <laughs> also, I've heard I've heard that there's actually a good sponsorship opportunity from Chili's. And that's Chili's <laughs> baby back rib condoms with dry rub. <laughs> please please take that opportunity up. Uh let's give it a thumbs up, thumbs down for this trailer. Jared, thumbs up. Uh, Mr. Oh, you got something to say? You want to say it? <laughs> it's not appropriate for the stream. All right, all right. I'm giving it a thumbs up, a flayed thumbs up, a hook in my hands thumbs up, a lament configuration thumbs up. Uh, and those, that's the trailer. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I'm going to watch it, it too. I, I feel very genuinely interested in seeing how it goes. It may be crap, and that's fine, but I am legitimately interested. Hey, right quick.